What's up, you chubby little bastards? It's ice cream review time. All five, yes, all five of Salt and Straw's vegan January flavors. It's a new year. I've got a new studio here, aka the living room. I was evicted out of my man cave because we are turning it into a nursery. That's right. If you guys haven't heard, we're expecting another child, and that is awesome. What is also awesome is new ice cream flavors. Now last year was a down year. We all know that it was not a great year for ice cream, especially with salt and straw rehashing a lot of things that I've had before. Great stuff, but stuff that I've, I've already experienced and I love variety. I don't want to retread. I want new things. <coughs> As always, there's gonna be some background noise, some dogs. There's, you know, Cameron, there's uh, my wife. She might laugh at me or say that I'm an idiot. You know, so there's all sorts of fun stuff going on here. I'm not like most YouTubers, I'm not gonna, sanitize this and make it perfect. I don't care about being perfect. I just care about eating ice cream and telling you guys whether it's good or not. So anyways, here's the gimmick with this month. Uh, Salt and Straw, who actually makes some damn good vegan ice cream, some of the best I've ever had, has made an entire lineup of vegan ice creams. And I know a lot of you guys are interest, interested in this. <clears throat> See what I mean? That's right there. I just uh, choked on my own phlegm. I'm not gonna edit that out, whatever. I know a lot of you guys are interested in this, uh, even though you may or may not be vegan. I'm not, I'm an omnivore, I eat everything, but I also don't discriminate, okay? Especially when it comes to ice cream. So, we're gonna run through the whole lineup, all five of them, and uh, I'll tell you, as an omnivore, as a meat eater, as a man who loves dairy products, whether or not this vegan ice cream is good for vegan ice cream or good for ice cream, period. So, let's start off with the, from, We'll go bottom to top in terms of my interest level. Let's start off with candied apricot faux yo. I'm gonna read it from here. We make it with sugar, apricot puree, salt, vanilla, and why yes, that is a little green cardamom you're tasting. If you guys don't know, salt and, uh, salt and straw, they're a bunch of hipster kids and they make crazy stuff like that, cardamom. Who wants cardamom in their ice cream? I don't, but once again, don't discriminate. I'm gonna try it. Uh, and they fold in pieces of candied apricot for texture and fun for a flavor that tastes like a fresh fruit sorbet. I don't like sorbet myself, but uh, some of you guys out there might be interested in it. Here we go. Definitely tasted cardamom. That was like the first thing I tasted. The notes of the apricot coming after the fact. A little more tart than I expected, but it's also very sweet. Uh, the candied apricot's chewy, but not off-putting. This is good, it's fine, I mean, Texture, you wouldn't even know this was, was a dairy-free ice cream, a vegan ice cream. And that's why salt and straw is so good because they're just able to create this, this smooth texture out of bases made with no dairy. Now, uh, here's a pro tip. If you guys get vegan ice cream, any vegan ice cream, depending on the brand, you gotta let this stuff temper. Let it sit out, let it temper, uh, and it'll resemble real ice cream even more than it already does. I'm gonna rate this on the vegan ice cream scale for you guys who don't know. The dairy free ice cream scale has got a little bit of a curve. Can't grade it the same way you grade Ben and Jerry's, stuff like that, or you know, regular salt and straw flavors. So even with the curve on the vegan scale, this is kind of boring, but it, I can't fault it for being bad. It gets a seven out of 10. Next up, we'll do mint chip whoopie pie. And yes, this is the next most interesting. Wait till you see the next uh, three after this, but you'll understand. So this one is a coconut ice cream made with freckled chocolate and pure peppermint oil, and they put in whoopie pies from Petunia's Pies and Pastries. I love Petunia's Pies and Pastries. Kelsey and I went there and went to Portland uh, a few years back, and we didn't even know it was a vegan place. Stuff was that good. So here we go. First spoonful is a good one. Let's see how it tastes. Are whoopie pies supposed to be crunchy? I don't think so. But that piece was crunchy. I've never had a vegan whoopie pie. I don't know if they make them differently. But I like the mint like the mint chip ice cream. Here's another good spoonful. Maybe if you listen close, you can see what I mean, or hear what I mean. Now, I don't know if it's because they're frozen in the ice cream. The texture of those is really off-putting. Taste-wise, they're fine, but not what I was expecting out of this flavor at all. Love the mint and chip part. The whoopie pie part actually brings it down. This one's getting a seven out of 10 too. Next up is chocolate hazelnut fudge. This one's very interesting. I'm gonna tell you guys why. This is a hazelnut milk ice cream. So they combine hazelnut milk and hazelnut butter together to make the base, and then they add uh, cocoa powder, and they fold in pieces of homemade gluten-free brownies. Oh man, wow. 
This is this is some rich stuff. Keep in mind, guys. And you probably know this if you've seen some vegans. Uh, vegan doesn't mean low calorie. Oftentimes, they have to compensate by their lack of dairy products by putting in a ton of fat from other sources. In this case, like hazelnut butter. This tastes like a Nutella ice cream. Brownies are big, thick, dense, chewy, and damn good. You wouldn't know they're gluten-free at all. I prefer as much gluten as possible in my diet, but these are damn good. I gotta cut myself off from this one. I think Kelsey's gonna enjoy this. This one gets a nine out of 10. Great stuff. Next up is Happy Birthday Elvis. This is my third experience with an Elvis flavor from Salt and Straw. This will be the first vegan one, obviously. They made a banana coconut ice cream with swirls of Oregon Marionberry jam, peanut butter fudge, and bits of candied coconut that taste just like bacon. That's interesting. It's some MacGyver action, turning coconut shreds into bacon pieces. So here we go. So, don't get me wrong. I'm not a coconut hater. But shredded coconut has a very distinct texture. And it doesn't feel like bacon in your mouth. The flavor is there. Definitely get a bacon taste, but I don't like the texture. I don't want to say it's a deal breaker yet, but I'm not a huge fan of it. As far as the Marionberry and the peanut butter goes, that's definitely on point. Star of the show here. Banana ice cream itself is very sweet. Strong banana flavor. But that those pieces of bacon coconut stuff just overpower it all. And it's a shame. Look at that, guys. Ooh, look at that swirl. Whew. That's nice. I love Marionberry. It's a shame. It's, a, it's really a shame because I love it until I get those pieces of coconut bacon. It just, the texture sucks. Um, think about frozen shredded coconut and the flavor is just too strong. Like in an Elvis flavor, I understand the inclusion of bacon. I get it, all right? I, understand, I get the historical significance, all right? The dude liked peanut butter, banana, and bacon sandwiches. Problem is, it needs to be subtle. You know, it just, I don't want a bacon first flavor and that's what happens here. When you're getting just the banana ice cream and you're getting the um, the two swirls, it's, it's bomb. But the bacon stuff ruins it. Hate to do it to it, but uh, you know, once again, your mileage may vary. You may not have as big of a problem as I do, but this one gets a 7 out of 10 for me. And last, but certainly not least, Heidi Ho's Lemon Cheesecake. You guys follow me on Instagram. You know that I love lemon, and that's why I saved this one for last. Team Lemon, stand up, but... But I've never had a vegan lemon ice cream, especially a vegan lemon cheesecake ice cream. Can you make a vegan cheesecake ice cream? We're gonna find out. So they used cultured cashew chivray or chivray, chiv, I don't know, it's one of those French cheeses. Uh, and they blend it with coconut milk and lemon to make a rich cheesecake. Then they swirl that. That's what they use to make the cheesecake. Then they swirl that into a vanilla coconut ice cream and then crumble in some almond flour crust for an ice cream that tastes just a little bit like birthday cake. I'm in. Mm. Oh boy. I'm so glad I saved this one for last too because it was the flavor I was most excited about. And now it's the creamiest because it's tempered the longest. There's little almond flour bits. Ooh. I was worried about that one, or the description. I, it seemed a little bit hip, too hipsterish for me, but it tastes like pie crust. Mm. Wow. So for you lemon haters out there, I got good news. This flavor is overwhelmingly cheesecake. The only lemon is these little pockets. Everything else is just an absolutely delicious, super rich cheesecake base. Call me biased. You can call me anything you want, actually. This is one of the best vegan ice creams I've ever had in my life, and it's really no surprise that it came from Salt and Straw. Salt and Straw, I commend you because I'm pretty jaded. I'm pretty hard to please, especially when it comes to vegan stuff. But man, awesome, awesome work. And that one gets a 10 out of 10 on the vegan ice cream scale, and it'd be damn close to a 10 out of 10 on the regular ice cream scale. 
I have to maybe eat some more of it to really to really judge. But uh, Ooh, awesome. Really but yeah, see, Kelsey agrees. It's I awesome. Like lemon. She doesn't like lemon. She likes it. She's a lemon hater. I love lemon. It pleases everybody because it's cheesecake. Who doesn't like cheesecake? So there you guys have it. In summary, do you need every flavor this month? No. But if you're going to order, if you're vegan or you just have some dietary restrictions and you want to indulge, I'm going to recommend getting the lemon cheesecake, the chocolate hazelnut, and uh, I think you should try the Elvis because you might have a different experience. But double up on some of those other two. Maybe even double up on the Elvis if you think I'm an idiot and you think I'm talking out my ass. But trust me, guys, if you're a vegan um, and you've never had salt and straw, it's a completely different animal than the stuff you're gonna, the dairy free stuff you will find in stores. It is the best of the best when it comes to vegan ice cream. Salt and straw, thanks for going on a limb. Thanks for kind of being adventurous. Sometimes it's not my cup of tea, but I'm glad I took the leap with this one because these are some damn good ice creams in this pack. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Let's go!